In this video, I'm going to talk about how to multi-track record your worship service and then use those tracks for virtual soundcheck. Hello, I'm Stephen Ballast. Welcome to my channel where I explore worship technology solutions. Digital mixers have made it so much easier to route audio around and get it into a computer for multi-track recording. And while you can take those tracks and use them to remix your music in a studio or something, another great use for it and a reason to be recording your services to multi-tracks is virtual soundcheck. Virtual soundcheck is when you play back your multi-tracks into your mixer and mix the audio just like it was live, only it's recorded, so you can loop parts, listen to it again, solo an instrument, and make adjustments to its settings as much as you want without having to actually have the band on stage playing for you. And it's a great way to train volunteers as well. To record the multi-track files, first you need to get the audio into your computer. There are many ways you can do this, but if you can get your audio channels onto a Dante network, I've found this to be the easiest way to move audio around. And you can use the same Dante network to split audio to your live streaming mix as well. Most digital mixers now have a Dante option. Even the popular X32 can send channels out via a Dante option card. I've got a Dante card in my DLive that I use to send all my channels to my broadcast location for our live stream, as well as to a computer for multi-track recording. Getting the Dante network into your computer is pretty simple. Especially if you have a lower channel count like 32 channels, you can easily use the Dante Virtual Sound Card, which is just some software that runs on your computer and then uses your computer's existing Ethernet port and shows up in your recording program just like it's an audio interface. In my video on live mixing in a DAW, I suggest that you not use the Dante Virtual Sound Card because of latency. But for recording, we don't care about any latency that the Ethernet port will add. You set up all the routing of your Dante network using the Dante controller software. This runs on any computer that is on the Dante network. You can just run that on the computer that you're using to do your multi-track recording. In Dante controller, I like to keep a one-to-one -one patching. Channel one of my mixer goes to channel one of my multi-track. As much as you can follow this one-to-one -one routing, it will save you a lot of headaches when you are routing this out and then back into your mixer. One of the best solutions for multi-track recording and virtual sound check is Waves Tracks Live because it's free and it works great. In Waves Tracks Live under Preferences, select Dante Virtual Sound Card as your interface or whatever Dante interface you are using and your Dante channels will show up as your inputs in Tracks Live. I also like to use Reaper for this because a lot of times I do use the multi-tracks to remix in a studio, and then I want a more full-featured program than Waves Tracks Live. And so it saves me a step of transferring the files to just record it in Reaper. I created a track template in Reaper that has the same channel list as my mixer, and I load that template each time I record. In Reaper's preferences, you also select your Dante Virtual Sound Card or Dante Interface as your input device and your channels will be routed and ready to record. Once you have your tracks recorded, now begins the fun part, playback and virtual sound check. You'll have to configure your mixer's inputs to route from the Dante network instead of your usual stage inputs. But if you recorded one-to-one, -one, it should be a pretty straightforward process. And on any digital mixer, you can save the routing as a scene or preset in your mixer so you can easily recall it later and switch back and forth between your stage inputs and your multi tracks. Now when I begin playback on my computer, those channels show up in my front of house board just like they were when they were originally performed. Virtual Soundcheck is a great way to try out EQ settings, dial in different effects like reverb and delay times, and also it's a great way to get out from behind your board and walk around the room and see how your mix is translating, without the pressure of a rehearsal where you need to be present and attentive to what's going on on stage from the soundboard. Let me know in the comments below how you're using multitracks and Virtual Soundcheck. Also, it would be great if you'd subscribe to my channel so you can be notified on YouTube when I post future videos. Until next time, I wish you great success with your mixing endeavors.